welcome back guys so in this lecture right here we're pretty much going to deal with the ui now all right being able to actually display the form over here in our admin edit product component all right but before we get started i want to make a little fix here i want to remove the imported dispatch um, if i go to the admin edit product component at the very top i imported this dispatch which it shouldn't be there so just go ahead and delete that all right i'm going to save that all right, and continue. All right, so let me mark that off. All right, so next I want to copy the copy and paste the UI. All right, now I'm saying that because this the UI for that is going to look similar to this modal window that we used when we for creating a new product. All right, so this is is going to look similar to this right here, the form. However, it's not going to be a modal window. Okay, but aside to, aside from that, it's going to be the same all right so i am i have this code available to me that i copied and pasted into a new uh, file here on the side i'm going to copy all that here and for the return i'm going to delete this here and just paste that code in there so there you go and i'm going to save that and it should reformat the code just like so. All right, so that's taken care of there. All right, now, um, if you want, I am gonna go uh, through this code through through the through the, this HTML or JSX code um, to give a little bit further explanation. But if you're not able to understand, um, I have I'm gonna push the code over to my GitHub. All right, so that way you can go over and look over it. All right, so over here, I'm going to end up pushing it here. So if you want to, you can refer to it here to maybe help you understand even um, better. All right, so let me go back here. So I'm going to copy and paste the UI. I took care of that. All right, next is importing items to remove the errors. All right, so if you look over here at the bottom of my console, I have some errors here because I have to import some, some stuff. So let's go ahead and remove those errors one by one. Um, let me move this to the side. All right, so, so the first thing, the fragment, okay? The fragment, let's go ahead and import fragment. If I save that, that error should be gone. And as you can see, it's gone. All right, next, admin header component. All right, so I'm gonna, right here, I'm gonna import admin header from admin admin header okay and now next is link so link is going to be coming from the react router dom so i'm going to do import link from react router dom save that and we should have two left Indeed we do. All right, so now these are that we have left our event handlers. All right, so I am going to, so let's go ahead and start with the handle image upload. So over here, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna copy this comment here and paste that in and change this and call it event handlers because this is the area where I want to have all my event handlers so as I said the first one is called handle image upload and this is going to take an event get past an event object so for now actually you know what we're going to take care of that now all right so this is going to be this is going to be fired off whenever the user clicks on the upload image okay and they want to search for an image this event handler should change so I'm gonna call this a variable called image and it's gonna be when we'll get the value that the you or, or the image that the user selected within the event e target and then files files is an array and we want the first one and then finally we want to do set product image with that image okay just a reminder the set product image that is the component state right here all right so this is the thing that changes the value for 
this product image, all right? All right, so we have our handle image upload handler taken care of. So if I save that, if we look at the errors, all we have left is the handle product submit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is copy this here, paste and call this handle product submit. And I'm just gonna delete all this within and just do like so. All right, so it's like an empty skeleton, but it's just to, for the moment to remove the, the air there. All right, because this handle product submit, we're gonna be taking care of, it should be next lecture, okay? So that should, do the, that should be like the finalization of taking care of editing our product. All right, but as you can see, all right, so our, these error messages go away. So let's go ahead and mark that. So import items to remove errors okay that's what we just took care of now and set up skeleton for the event handlers all right that's what we took care of now that was for the handle product submit and the handle image product all right so let's go ahead with that and then finish handle image upload finish oh yes we took care of that too okay that's this right here all right i took care of that here so we can mark that off and then now explain the UI. All right, so now remember here in the render portion where we dis you display all, where I copied and pasted all this code right here. All right, and I did say that this is very similar to what we constructed for our creating a, uh, a product, uh, the product modal window or when we created a new product. So here, uh, so this, we're using a fragment here because as you can see, we have two elements side by side and we know that in React, if we, wanted, if we want to set these two elements side by side, we have to use a fragment. So that's why we have the fragment. And for this admin header, that is this thing right here, all right? All right, and then now we go, we have a container, we have the row, and then this link tag here, this link tag here is for the go back button. So that is this thing right here. So if I press that, you see we're able to go back to the, to the dashboard. And now if I click back on the edit button, we're able to go back to our product. All right, next, go, going down the code. So the form starts here. And as you can see, we have a handle product submit. All right, so this would be fired off once the user clicks the submit button to update the product. All right, and then uh, let's see here we have a label for the image all right so this is the portion where we want to be able to upload the uh, update the image and here i have a condition here for the image it's saying if we had a product image and product image name then we want to display this portion here which is a span tag otherwise just display this image so i can tell you that right now the moment that the component mounts or the moment that the the user writes to this page this is the first thing that is being displayed is an image tag with the image of what is fetched from the back end all right the image that already exists at the moment currently at the moment for the uh for that product all right and the as you can see the route is in the uploads folder and we're in the product image so the uploads folder is that's the folder we have named at the back end that stores all our images now if the user ends up uh updating changing that image like okay so this will fire off this right here where we display the product image name will be changed so this this image would change if the user clicks the choose file and say they want to choose a red wine. Now, I know it doesn't make sense, but this is just an example, right? It's just um, just select this red wine. As you can see, this is the span tag that I'm referring to with the image, the, the name. All right, this is, this is that part of code. All right, so this runs when the user actually clicks and selects the new image from the choose file. All right, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all right, yeah. Uh, let me let me bring back that turkey burger image though keep the same all right all right so that's for the image there um all right then the next div is for the name is f is for name section that's for this here and as you can see all these values right when i arrive to a safe even if i click on uh, this veggie burger 
automatically you, you know that these all the values are pre-filled with their data right so this image here that's a veggie burger that's an image for that veggie burger it says veggie burger so how so the reason why we're able to pre-fill these values is that we're able to fetch all those products from the database and it's being stored here in it because we're calling it here if not product we're calling the dispatch get product and then we're filling in these values here which are then pre-filling these uh, input fields that's how we're able to pre-fill the values all right so for um, say for the name also as you can see here in this value attribute we have we're passing from the get go the product name all right so that's why it's it's already pre-filling at the moment that the user arrives to this page or the component and we could change that with this event listener right here the on change. So if the user does decide to, if there's any detection of, uh, of like the user, you know, wanting to change the name of this right here, each this will trigger, and then it will call this these um, this set product name, um, it will, or it could be set product description, right? Based on where the input, where the the user is making that change at, and then change that new value with this event target value. Okay, all right. So as you can see, this is a very common theme within all these input fields. It's pretty much the same. This is what allows us to pre-fill them with a, a whatever the data is that exists for that product, and also make the changes if the user does decide to change um, any uh, the name or or anything uh, for this component for this product. All right, so next is the description here. So we have the description, and that's right here. And then we got the price, right? If we go down, you see we got the price. And then if we go down, now we got the category, but this is different because this is select tag. All right, this is slightly different. And as you can see over here, we start looping over the categories and mapping it so we can display each each category with their own option tag here and of course because we're mapping we have to pass the key here and for the key here I choose the ID of that category and for the value I use the ID the same thing the ID and then within these the option tag um, to uh, I start off or, or with the category name all right so when we arrive here so this this veggie burger is part of the categories of a burgers. So if I go back here, you can see it's being pre-filled. So let's say turkey burger. All right, automatically it's set over here as uh, for its category burgers. Um, if I go back, let's say pasta carbonara over here. This is a pasta category, right? So if I click edit, you can see it already is pre-filled with pastas. All right, not any of these other ones. Okay, so that is allows us to pre-fill that select tag as well. All right, and then that's pretty much it. And then you got the quantity, and then you got a submit button, and that completes the UI for our admin edit product component. All right, so that is it for now. Um, so we still have to take care of the final submission, right? So. Uh, the moment that a user uh, does want to click on something, I don't know, maybe they want to just click, change the name here, right? Change it to, change this to, uh, to a healthy, whatever, healthy, healthy veggie, veggie burger, right? If we want to just change that just right there, and then the user, if they want to just submit that, they can click submit, and at that point, we want to, take care of that action to update the product and, and then that should be it all right so i will see you in the next lecture and that is it for now